This first one is important because as I alluded to this morning, I do say the word of don't I? Anyway, um, it's, it's actually wrong. <laughs> the textbook's answer is wrong. I'm convinced it's wrong. I'm gonna try and convince you of what I think the real answer is. And then hopefully the icing on the cake will be, I, I think I have like a 90% idea of where they got their answer from. Like where are these random numbers coming from? Okay. So here's the setup. They tell you, in a, over a given sort of winter period, the probability of a rainy day is, I think they said it's 18 out of 30. I think that's what I recall, okay? So you've got a, um, a fraction here you can simplify. It's gonna be divided top and bottom by six. That's three fifths, right? Okay, so we need that. Because we've got rainy days, the question itself asks about dry days. That's the complement, okay? So the complement is gonna be one takeaway, that probability, so it's just two fifths. Simple, okay? Then this is the question they pose to you. What is the probability that if you pick out five days at random, the first two days that you pick will be dry? That's the question, okay? Now, what I'll do first is, um, I, the way I'm gonna convince you is I'm gonna show you two different ways to solve this question. And um, the first one is very, very simple. So you'd be tempted to thinking, especially when the answer gives you a different, um, gives you a different number, you're like, what have I done wrong? Have I missed something really obvious? So I've got five days here, right? Now I want the first two specifically to be dry, right? So on these two days specifically, this is the chance of getting a dry day, okay? Now the whole idea of it being statistical is like there's no replacement or anything like that. Each day is identical. So the chance resets every single day. So if I just took away all these other days, right? just said this day here, right? What's the probability of that day being dry? Three out of five. Dry? Oh, sorry. Two, two, out out five. Five. two out of five. Two out of five. That's fine. Okay. Now then you look at the next day, which is, remember, it's independent, right? It could, it could be completely reset. I want the probability of this day being dry. It's still two over five, right? And then you say, well, okay, now I have three other days that are left and they all are supposed to be wet. So I have all of the probabilities, okay? Now, having considered each of the days independently, knowing that they don't affect each other, now I arrange them in this particular way. There's only one way to arrange them like that. So all I need is all of these happening simultaneously. So what do I do with all these fractions? I'm gonna multiply them. Okay? Now, when you go ahead and you do this, uh, if you want to put into calculator, I think that's 0.4 squared, 0.6 cubed. You put them all together. From memory, I think this is what you get. Okay, I think this is what you get. Okay? Now, this does not match with the answer in the textbook. So you can be forgiven for thinking, I've missed something important. The probability that they've got is significantly smaller. So you think, have I like <coughs> overcounted or something like that? And I looked and I looked and I was like, I don't think I have. So the way that I would know whether I've gotten this right or not, I'm convinced it is, is if I approach this another way, will I get the same answer? Okay. Now, another thing that's a bit weird is that this is a very simple way of approaching it. It's in the middle of an exercise about binomial probability. You're like, I don't have to do any binomial stuff. Could someone tell me why is this a candidate for binomial probability? Um, so they're all identical events Good. that are okay. occurring over and over again. Yep, repeatedly. And one more thing. Uh, they're all independent. From We've already said that so one. What's the binomial in binomial about? Uh, we've already okay. mentioned multi-stage. It's just um, that there's, I think two, you said it, yeah, 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 two. It's either this or that, this or that, this or that. <laughs> Each event, it's one of these two probabilities and you just got a, a set of um, uh, binary branches drawing up. Okay. So how could I approach this question? So this is approach number one. How could I approach this question using binomial, okay? So just to make sure I get this right, I'm actually gonna draw this out a little bit just so you're super convinced, okay? Let's think about like the probability, the whole probability that I've got here is going to be the probability of the rainy days, the probability of the dry days, these combine to make one because it's only gonna be one of those. And then you do it five times, right? Because there are five days, yes? Now, this is just one, so this represents every possible thing that could happen, okay? No overcounting, no undercounting, every possibility and all the probabilities weighted are all included in that expansion, yes? Okay, so just, I'm not gonna write the whole thing out because there are six terms and it's a bit tiresome, but um, the first term is gonna be five, choose naught. I've written three-fifths first, so this would be three-fifths to the power of 
five, five. And there's really a two fifths of power zero, but I'm not going to write it. Okay? Now just pause for a second. What does this term in the expansion mean when we're looking at this situation? What does it represent? Um, it's going to be wet every day. Okay, so this is how many ways are there for it to be wet every single day? And the answer is there's one way, right? Wait, 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 that's it. Okay, there's no way to rearrange those that looks different. And then if it's, ra it's raining every day, well, you're just going to do this probability five times. Make sense? Okay. That's the first term. So this is all rainy days, or I could say zero dry days. You'll see why I'm writing that in a second. Then I look at the next term in the expansion. It's going to be 5C1. Tell me what belongs here. What happens to the powers? Decreases. This one decreases. So 3 fifths to the 4. And then I get 2 fifths, right? Now, again, what does this represent? This guy up here is. How many ways can it happen for there be, can I arrange um, four wet days and one dry day, right? One dry day. And when you put these in, you'll get your probability out. You can see I only need to do one more term, right? Plus, I'm going to get, this is the one I'm really interested in, 5C2, 3 fifths cubed and 2 fifths squared, yes? This is two dry days, right? Plus dot, 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 okay? But it's important. These are all NCR coefficients out the front, right? NCR, NCR, NCR. So the difference between NCR and NPR is, what is the difference between them? It's order, right? So for all of these guys, order doesn't matter. And that's because when you do a binomial expansion, we don't care if it's a squared B cubed or a B cubed A. Like the order, I could just put them all together. So this, is the number of ways, sorry, the probability of getting two dry days when you don't care where the days are, right? They could be at the beginning, they could be at the end, they could be in the middle, separated, whatever, okay? So that means that I've overcounted. Do you agree? Like, I've included way too many options here because a whole bunch of them, the dry days won't be in the spots that I want. So then the question becomes, well, how many of these have got, like how many ways are there to position two dry days in here? Because I only want one of them, right? Yeah. yeah you, have ten, um, you have 10 ways because five choose two. And as a result- yeah. So I've already done five choose two. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there are 10 ways that you can uh, get um, two dry days within yeah. the five yeah. spots, but you only want one particular case of that. Yeah, very good. So you've, over you've overcounted by nine. Uh, yeah, you usually say by a factor, yeah. right? So it's a factor of 10. So here's another way to think about it, right? Here are my dry days and here are my rainy days, okay? Think back to where this NCR notation comes from, right? If I'm arranging five objects in a line, there are five factorial ways to arrange them. But look, I have identical elements, so I've overcounted by a factor of two factorial, three factorial. That is 5C2, isn't it? So therefore, my probability, right, is this, but I've overcounted by this amount. It's 5C2, 3 fifths cubed, 2 fifths squared, and then I overcounted by a factor of 5C2, right? Cancel, cancel. Does this look familiar? Okay. So you approach it this somewhat um, overpowered, unnecessarily um, rigorous way, right? And it's still the same thing, right? You do five days, you do it, you take care of the order, you get the, day, the days and the ways, those positions you want, and that's it. I'm 100% I'm certain this is the answer, okay? Uh, the only thing that's left is, well, where did their number come from? And I started, I just was playing with their number. I was trying to work out, well, how have they done this? What I'm sort of 90% certain of, because the number could have come from anywhere, right? It could have come from anywhere. I think what they've done is instead of thinking about five days, I think they've thought about a week. Because the number I think they give you is 0 0.0124 or something like that, okay? Now, I, again, I was just playing with the numbers. And if you have two dry days, and then the remainder is a week, how many wet days are left, rainy days? Five of them, right? So three fifths to the power of five, which I think you'll find is um, 0 0.01244, okay? So 
seems suspicious that those numbers are so close and that it, that sort of makes sense like as a way you'd phrase a question I, I'm going to pick out a week at random and um, I mistakenly thought it was seven days instead of like what they meant was weekdays I guess okay 